Just editing his routes, also cover the Russian thing, because that's going to be up in arms. Oh, one of them's actually bringing a scope Mosin. Cool. That sounds good. I'm cool with that. Disc, I, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, God, the time and the grenade training that they threw the thermite grenade on the IED box somehow. Oh. What? Alright, anyway, for Overwatch or whatever you're supposed to do, just note what's on the brief, what's on the tasks. If you have any questions on how I set that up, let me know. But, I mean, I usually just chill in base and occasionally teleport up to listen to their bullshit, so. Yeah. Uh, premise here is they can either end at the staging point or at the uh, gorilla base. Uh, there's the military base, which is like the local Finnish fob, that they take that out and they can expand up to uh, other areas. Uh, the Russians are really active in the AO today because uh, last week they found a Russian position and decided to attack it. And then they tried to stay and hold there, so I like literally waited 10 to 15 minutes and they were still there, so I just sent an MI-28 after them. Killed about half of them, but... Uh... They recon the rest of the stuff, and those have been added as objectives, but we'll see what they do. If they decide to do the uh, the military base first, then literally, like, two more MI-28s are going to come in. Not on their position, but just around. So that's going to be, like, the end of that objective. But I think they're going to go do the battle site first. What's important about it is there's an MI-24 flying around, and will occasionally make passes. And in terms of the rebels, there's a few dead rebels with uh, helmets, AT, rifles, anything that they may or may not want, and a shit ton of dead uh, Finnish dudes. Some with uh, some short-range AT that they might also want. RPGs as well. Those would be nice. Yeah. I was looking really... For yeah, I would say the best thing, though, is the Maz, but the Maz, I think, rolled down a hill. I have no I idea where it went. It's, uh... I mean, the, you got the Maz guy, but... Oh, no, his, his Maz actually went in his body this time, so lucky them. Last week, it rolled down the fucking hill. Did you say you were attached to me? Cool. We're just gonna passively follow the chuckleheads and see what happens. Hey Dutch, how was your adventure, buddy? Oh, that was that was fun to watch. It was great. That's good. As long as you had fun. There goes Nemesis. Oh. Body went flying. Yeah, it happens. But yeah, a lot of this uh, type of AO is just waiting for them to position properly. I'd eat my chips, but I'm streaming and they don't like it when I eat chips. Crunch, crunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, they're swinging north because they were on a dirt path next to the military base, and that was a little concerning. Smart of you. Hey, much better. I'm also going to set the global difficulty. I normally like to do a 90, 35, 50, 50. I've just been doing it that way for years. So it looks like they're going to go to the battle site first, see what they can loot, and then either go hit the checkpoint or just go to the military base.
No, we're not adding the ASMR box. I will be curious to see what they say about that MI24. Well, I'm gonna guess everyone, all factions are hostile to each other, right? Uh, no. So the Finnish are... It, it, this is a post-COVID world kind of got screwed up and Russia was able to take over Finland for some weird reason. Why? I don't fucking know. It just felt like a good idea at the time. So Blue 4 are the resistance... Uh, the players are U.S. Uh, special forces trying to separate Finland from Russia. Green 4 is Finland. Op 4 is Russia. If you, um, if you get out of Zeus, go into your map and go to the brief section, I actually explained everything in there. Wrote it up. Yeah. But, you know, all the objectives are put down. I don't have to explain anything. They just, you know, make their own strategy. Oof, Nemesis. I'm going to teleport us up to them because I just want to hear them locally, so don't say anything. Thank God. I was about to say, ladies and gentlemen, these are my T3s, and we would have been introduced to that. You say that, but have a What the fuck was that sound? It was a chicken. Don't you know what a chicken sounds like, Yanni? It didn't sound like a chicken. Fuck, they spotted that truck. So helicopter AI is OP as shit. They already spotted the truck, but I have them set on careless hold fire, so they won't do anything. I was gonna say, yeah, that fucking bird saw them. Oh, yeah. Bird. I'm trying to be... I, I try to be nice with the aircraft. That way it kind of lulls them in a false sense of security, and they're like, oh yeah, we can deal with the Russian position, and then they, they tried last week, and I just... Went on a gun turret with thermal sights and killed half of them. It was fun. But, you know, you try to make these somewhat realistic so that they have expectations. They then follow through with those expectations and then, you know, everything's somewhat balanced. But I don't know. I think Nim is going to do the looting and these infantry are going to go hit the checkpoint. The fucking truck still works, that is. Or she's waiting. Who knows? Yeah. What I am going to do is in the top right where I have the uh, debug for the Finnish guys, I'm going to set up an MTLB, which, fun fact, is the standard APC currently for them. 
And I'm just gonna put an infantry squad in there and get ready to use that as QRF. And then once the checkpoint goes on contact, I'll send the Vic, but... You know, by the time they're done and move on, hopefully the Vic will then arrive. And, uh, you know, way late, but you never know with the players. I'm also monitoring the MI-24's uh, fuel. When it gets to 50%, I'm going to so take it to the FARP on the top left of the Shone AO and uh, just get it refueled. Who's the Kozus? Uh, this dude. I apparently always pronounce his name wrong. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit of a teaching session. That's how we do things in TSB. Um... I'm not supposed to have the Kozuses do anything. It's more so I just tell them how I make AOs and use an AO. And... Is he going to get in? Uh -huh. He'll get in, but if he still has something weird on one of his add-ons, it'll kick him. That's just how Pharma works. So, you know, he'll get stuff on how I do things. He'll then go to a Sniper Wolf op, and Sniper will tell him how he does things. And then he'll go to a Barbarian op, and Barbarian does things. <laughs> I always pick on Barbarian. I don't know why. Though it's fun. It's fun. With, um... Barb and I did some shout casting stuff on Friday, and I really want to do that again. Oh, he's actually here. I didn't even notice. Your first stop was a home run? What was my first stop? I think my first stop actually was Trump's Wall, like as a Zeus. Not counting the stuff I did in 2014 with a few friends, but... Good times. And there goes two. Looks like Nem is going to be able to kit back up. It, it might not have been, because I'm trying to recall, like, I just don't remember, <laughs> you know? Yeah, they have a fire team attack. Oh, it's... They've got five dudes. Yeah, five dudes against two squads ish and a BMP. Or what is that? Oh, it's a BMP one with um one of those uh Fajot turrets. I can't say that word on Twitch because Twitch doesn't like it. It's a French bread turret. I'm going to teleport us behind him. Oh yeah, and then the frickin' crash site. I still have that. Just for some minor ambience. Why do BMPs have yellow ATGMs? Well, Ollie, when I was, uh, gosh, this was back in the Soviet planning committee for BMP uh, ATGM turrets. This was like 1964 or something. I remember I was sitting down. Uh, Stalin was at the head of the table. I was one of the lesser important dudes, but I was able to get a seat on the far left of Stalin and... We was with we were with all the generals and all the technicians, all the guys that were like head of the state. And Stalin's like, okay, what color should we make the BMP turrets? And I was like, you know, how about we make them yellow? No, no, Stalin was still alive in the 50s. Uh, he was alive. This was his clone. It, that's a different story, but you're right. Okay, technically Stalin's clone. Just 
don't worry about it. But his clone was like, you know, he was not in his head. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we should make it yellow. Because yellow is such a color that the United States would not expect. If they were to see something yellow in a forest of green, they'd be curious. They'd look at it. They'd stare at it. They'd hold still to look at it. At that point, we could then use the ATGM to hit them directly in the face without them moving around, making it easier for the guidance system to hit them. And, you know, everyone thought that was a really good idea. You know, it's not that, you know, this was something that happened in the 60s and, you know, I'm only in my 20s and that doesn't make any sense. And I already mentioned Stalin was a clone. And my point is, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I, I hope that was the answer you were looking for, Ollie. I love telling those stories. No, he didn't die in 1953. That's what the capitalist wants you to think. <laughs> Uh. All right, so anyway, some of them have uh, gotten around back here. They only have uh, Panzerfausts, though, so... You're going to have to get a lot closer to deal with that BMP. Yeah, right? I was actually just saying to my uh, stream, they're going to have to get a lot closer with those. Or wait for the looting team to find the Maz, which... Will take, like, 20 minutes. They're right on top of it, but they don't know. Yeah. Let's see. No, I think someone picked it up. Yeah, someone. So Nimia picked it up. Now we gotta deliver it. Yeah. Which will take a minute. I'm willing to bet these guys are gonna initiate contact before then. Yeah. Where are the Finnish SU STUGs? If it's not an RHS, I don't know. I just grabbed whatever VIX I could from our mod set. I don't know if I shot the commander out, that would be helpful. This is this is everything we have. Accordance with uh whatever. I'm going to put them at the checkpoint cable tied. Once in a while, when I get the opportunity, any late joiners, because, you know, it's hard to fit. Like, if you have a plan in play and you're already trying to execute it, it can be hard to filter in another guy, especially on small unit tactics like these. So I'll just throw them into an AO that they're trying to go hit. That way, you know, as they do it, it's just another curveball that they have to deal with one additional person for logistics. I don't know if Havoc's MG's gonna care about. Let's see. Yeah, it's very true, because uh, that, that uh, cord is doing the squiggly. He's, he's excited to be here. Alright, he's getting his uh, exercise in. It's okay, Barbarian doesn't know how to spell.
Now I am being a bit nice because I do have the uh, vehicle turned out. Yeah, so they but shoot the top. yeah, so they're not set to careless hold fire though, uh, which would keep them out even when gunshots fire. But as soon as gunshots start and that thing switches to aware or even combat, uh, they're gonna hop back in. So what I'm hoping is that they PID the fact that the uh, even though the gunner and the commander are coming out of the same thing because they're just they like touching each other like that. If they kill the gunner, that can render it disabled. Except if the uh, commander, I'll just switch over to the gun because I'm a dick. But at least it'll buy him some time. Oh yeah. I just love the leg day workout that that cord guy's getting. Oh. Looks like they did kill the gunner of the BMP. He was able to get a burst out on Iopus before he registered getting hit, though. I'm going to get that uh, APC and uh, send it up. Here, I know you're not supposed to do stuff, but can you remote control that BMP and drive it north for a little bit, please? Thank you. Did you intentionally run Yanni over, or did he just, like, bait you? I was over and I saw him running across. I thought he would stop. Because I started going down the MSR to the east, and I was like, oh, this is normal. And then it wasn't, so I swung. And then I flew. Yeah. Okay. That was interesting. They're bandaging Xander up because they shot him in the crossfire. I'm gonna have that MI-24 come over and just have a look. Are you sending your Kira from debug? Yep. So I also have it in the story written that the Russians really don't care about the finish, so they'll do like one and done, but I'm gonna have them actually land for fuel. Yes, they did. So yeah, that APC is going to take forever to get there, but at least it'll be in the AO, so if it doesn't, uh, you know, reinforce the checkpoint, then it'll at least re reinforce the uh, military base that they're going to hit at the end of this operation. That's got... Let's see. 
Yeah, no, it's probably going to take another 10, 15 minutes to get here. My point is, you know, QRF doesn't always have to do what it's intended. Sometimes it can just be QRF that you can keep in the AO as a response. And my MI-24 decided not to land where I told it to. Awesome. Yeah, so I just move it manually. And I shut her engine off, and then in like five minutes, I'll just boop her fuel up to full and go. So they're picking Xander up, and they're running north. You know, I find this kind of funny. I meant for the battle site objective to be, you know, they file a big, uh, they find a big file of bodies, and then they have to find where they were engaged from, and the guys that they were going to engage from had all the good shit. Instead, they came on the perfect angle to find the guys that engaged the main group, and now they're checking through all the guys on the ground trying to find anything good, but there really isn't, because I meant for that to be reversed, but sometimes, you know, AOs are done mysteriously strange ways. decent kid down there but op lore is to put it simply um russians took over finland and the u.s has sent in special forces to try to fix it and this is all in a post like 2023 world where covid did a lot of stuff and i always say it round it's covid but i prefer covid and uh massive political reform over other things and world is just doing stuff all right so i got another two and a half minutes before i send that 24 up and i'm just gonna do a rocket run on that area because he did get shot at and then he's just gonna go back on his patrol vector a checkpoint hmm a checkpoint or yeah mi-24 is gonna go up just do a rocket run because russians know that they like to linger because they learned that from the Russian fight area. Because they lingered there. Yeah, I got another two minutes. No, no one's wearing masks anymore. Actually, funny enough, the, um, the campaign for Tier 2 I intend on doing after Project 11 concludes will have a, uh, a masks rule. <laughs> And we do have uh, N95 masks in the uh, arsenal from the, uh, whatchamacallit DLC, so, the orange one. But yeah, we're 20 minutes in, they've hit a checkpoint, they hit the battle site, I think they're gonna go hit the FOB, and then, uh, excuse me, the FARP, and then they'll hit the FOB, and that'll be it. So we can expand the map up to reveal this top area. And I just got to make sure this APC isn't getting stuck on anything. Got another minute before I lift up that helicopter. Alright, I'm going to teleport us up to where the infantry are walking, so... Actually, no, we'll teleport up to where Yanni is getting medic. Or, no, Xander. We'll do Xander. It's, uh, good to know, but... You lot just started death. Laws of War, that's it. <laughs> orange is, um, orange was something oh, else. Oh, whoa, okay, way over there. Yeah, okay, floor head up and over there. Need to head west. Alright, it's about okay, time. By that time he spews up and shit. Show you how it's What's fearful here is the Gepard. I think by now, though, since they were in combat, they're at least going to be set to aware. Because the chopper would have reported, yeah, something just happened over there, so. Why are you getting... 
Oh, he's getting that beat because of the gap right. I'm like, why am I getting locked already? Like, what, what do the players have? Oh, yeah, no, it's something else. That just means there's an active radar pain in the AO. I love the MI-24 system. That is such a fun feature. Seed it. So, if anything was there, it's dead now. Finnish guys will eventually get there because you got to consider the two factions are communicating with each other. Now, the chopper is just going to take back its. Uh, Normal stuff. Capards are nasty. I've had rush patrols within 500 meters of your next target. Yeah, but like I said, Russians won't care about the finish positions. The Russians are there because that was where they, the players decided to engage stuff and it was a risk versus reward because they could have uh, gotten a mortar but they only got half the mortar because the other guy with the other backpack for it uh, didn't make it so ooh that MI-24 is right next to that Vic I'm gonna I'm gonna stock it So, you know, if you have a helicopter, like, fly right over on their VIX, they're flying by. As long as they can, you know, immediately grab it and put it to cover or something. Or if they just keep barreling down and somehow avoid past, uh... You know, you can just try to be dynamic with your helicopters. Not for the sake of killing them, but for the sake of spooking them, you know? DSB server runs off here. Well, I kind of like the randomness in my own style because it just adds to the unpredictability. What's annoying about some Zeus's is when I play their ops constantly, I sometimes start getting bored because I'll know exactly what they're going to do. With how I do things, I literally change my tactics every campaign. I'll let them get like, you know, if they play it for enough, they'll figure out the meta. And then I will literally change that meta. That's why I'm always going back and forth between like bonsai charge and infantry, depending on the circumstance. Or I'll put a tank like three clicks behind an AO, set it to uh, long view distance, and just start shooting at things from ways away. It just depends on who they're fighting and what the faction's capabilities are. Radar warning receiver, such a fun feature. Thank you, What's That? I, I appreciate you appreciating 
me appreciating <laughs> the radar beeping. Oh yeah, and then VCOM's retarded, uh, because if you look at the northern squad of that AO, they've gotten to combat for some reason. Uh, probably because of whatever, but you see those two Russian guys running north to go intercept that squad? I just dragged them back, though. VCOM aggro range is ridiculously dumb. So you just got to police that occasionally. But yeah, no, it's going off because of that. Also, yay, AI radar, that's actually working. So what wasn't just a mistake? Uh, fuck it. How's the fuel on that thing doing? Yeah, it normally lasts 90 minutes, so it's A-OK. -okay. So I'm going to adjust the vehicle's movement order because it's almost in the actual AO, but I'm just going to give it a general move order. So it doesn't dismount the infantry so I can stay in there so when they attack that FARP then that Vic is right there to do QRF. I'm gonna teleport us up so we can have a listen. Oh, there he go! Where'd he go? Where's the spear? Where is the gun? Because it gets yes. deleted. Close enough. The RP marker is now about 200 meters from us. Now, guess where are you at? They just do it on their no own alley. I can only see a patrol moving around the fall. I don't. I, I say we don't go close over to the vehicle. Yeah, let's get the vehicle here. Let's. Uh, Wait, what's that? You actually find enjoyment in things? I never knew. Oh, the rally new rally's more west with me. Chopper's not dead, it's just back on patrol. Have you guys got my PKM? Where's the PKM gunman? <laughs> oh. Oh, well. oh, by the way. Alright, Vic's now in the AO, these guys are attacking from the north, Back Eppard's probably going to spook them. The train where you learn not to ask me that. <laughs> Oh, the Gepard's gonna spook him because it's at an angle they're not gonna see. Over to the barb. Oof, Barb. Sounds like you need to get good. Actually, no. It sounds like you're already gotten getting good. It's just your teammates need to get good.
this mox growling. Yeah, one sentry on the lowest platform looking towards us. All right, I'm curious how many how many rounds does uh, Yanni have in that AT? All right, so three and a single HE. He's gonna have to burn one of them here for that Gepard. No, Mox. No, don't don't touch my title, please. Not the title. Alright, now you can go ahead and delete all the stuff up there since they've picked that clean. Wind. That's gonna give us back a good few frames. They're at an angle they don't see the little dish moving. <laughs> yeah, these guys circling around right there. Should I should I try crawling to the other side? Uh, there's actually no. no more to the west. There's a defilade I can use to not. Mm, I don't know. No. Why are you looking right at a fuel drum? There you go. So no, stop looking at the fuel drum. Look back. Yeah. Secure. No, Mr. AI. No, no, no. Yeah. All right. Proper. No. Mi no. 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 Yeah. Don't you see that guy crawling over there, miss? No. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay, now. Ah! Look back! Look at the... There you go. Yes. Yes, you see that guy over there, right? He has your attention. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. That was nasty, Outcast. Come on, Mr. Gepard. Mr. Gepard. Mr. Gepard. Mr. Gepard. Oh my god. We need to take the AT off him. I don't worry with the stick. That was a mess. Corner dog. Pull the AT off Yarny. You can't afford to treat him at this time. He needs to grab that AT. Skelly just got shot at. Uh oh. Yeah, 30 millimeter go bird. Undead poked me.
Did they just miss? Oh, silly, silly. There we go. Okay. Look at that. They finally did it. Shoot them. Commit the shooty shoots, sir. W with your gun. Shoot, shoot them. Shoot them now. Sir, sh shoot them. Shoot them. You're he should be able to commit the shooty, maybe? Sir? Shoot? Shoot. Shoot. Why do I even bother? So Garand is going back for the Vic. And these guys are trying to bandage up who they can. Havoc's still down. They got Yanni. Uh, Nemesis and Outcast are who I'm worried about. Now we're having that APC dismount. Why are you two chuckle fucks still in the Vic? No, do not- Oh my god, you- Okay. There goes Xander. Seven people at least were down. Yeah, Xander's one of the gorillas too, so that's- that's not good. There goes Nem and Outcast. Shooting a machine gun at it, that's funny. Oh, that was short. Nim just got shot. Come on, Finn, you can do it. I believe that you can win. I be no. No. Temp's down, they're bandaging. Havoc's still bandaging. They're throwing uh, smoke grenades. Terrible. But I got five people about to come in from the right flank. My 24 won't need a refuel for a while, so. I think the MTLB is moving with those two other infantry as they move back to the group because VCOM likes to work like that. I think the truck's being engaged. I think they're pulling out, yep. 
They're cutting losses. They can just get rid of that uh, APC Apex Patrol. I don't think they can. Yeah, the Cat Bird. I I don't think anyone spotted that thing as they were moving in. It was there last week too, and I could have sworn some of them knew it was there last week. But okay. what did my APC just do, and why? Why? Well, the players make me fix it, so boom, I just fixed it for the APC, because no one was there to see it. They need to die. Hey, on the bright side, we can do this. They left the opus. And them. Ooh. I'm going to go strip their inventories. They don't need that, or that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Guess who's gonna come wanna talk to you? Gestapo? The Gestapo. Am I allowed to swallow my suicide pill now? Uh, you're a gorilla. You don't even have that. Hey, you can make one just easier. So did anyone know that Geppard was back there? Because I could have sworn you guys knew it was there from last week. Yeah, we knew the Geppard was there. We knew it was there. Yanni got hit. And he had our dedicated agent. At the Maz, yep. Uh, I have complaints, but you know. It's not the pinnacle of teams. Uh-huh. Guess who's in that chopper? The Gestapo. Oh, I know, I spelled the map name wrong. Well, at least you get a, an all expense paid access pass to the Russian airfield. Woo! Uh, no, no, sir, sir. <laughs> uh, he doesn't want you. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm just gonna do it the cheese it way and tell him to get out instead. Understood. Uh, uh -huh. Um. They're gonna move away from the helicopter landing pad thingy. No. Oh. Because I thought they were going to get pancaked last time. And now Mr. Chopper is going to land this time. And he's going to stay landed. Maybe. Oh, that's... No, 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 no! No! <laughs> yes, do it. Uh... No. Uh... <laughs> All right, I can do it. I can do it. Uh, uh, okay. Touch and go. Hello, 
yes, I would like to offer you my pilot services. Better pilot than this one. And that's how you take prisoners! What the fuck did you ship room for? Uh, if they're unconscious or cable tied, you can ace option with them and there'll be an option to open their inventory. Oh, okay. Also, there's two guys that are running to the north, they're following the, uh, the car's route, so... It won't need a... I mean, no offense, but if the fob you were just refueling at just had a bunch of explosions, I don't think you're going to stay to refuel. We're just going to take those two, get a refuel at the airfield, and call it a day. I'm going to screw with him. Nah, Bear wouldn't be on that airfield. What about the burbs? You have pointy things on them. Ready for order! Oh, by the way, we're gonna have to go. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little debug thing. So, Guys, are you ready for your interrogation? I'm pretty sure they're worse than Nanostar. You guys look like you need a competent. I am just a gorilla. I offer my services. Okay. Let me think of a question to ask you for interrogation. Let me think. Uh... No, uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a question. Is this your first time? One in four interrogators suffer from this issue. All right. What is six divided by two times in parentheses one plus two? I'll say it again. Six divided by 
two times in parentheses one plus two. Nine. Let's see. One plus two is three. Three times two is six. No, it's one. You know what that means. We're going to have to take you to the re-education center. Do you know what's at the re-education center? Uh, pilot certification course? Yes. Now let me um, indoctrinate you in it. One second. Excellent. All right. I just found these people on the road. They like gave me guns. I'm like, let's go do things. And I was like, okay. Sure. Sounds fun. Great Saturday. Here, just think happy thoughts, okay? No, I want to fly. You get, you clearly have pilots who can fly or aim. Happy thoughts. No, not flying. Happy thoughts. Hail Hydra. Happy thoughts. <laughs> Why was that short? <laughs> Congratulations, Nimia. You have passed the test. <laughs> Dimitri, you fucking idiot. I get to fly now. Get the rabbits, then. No. I set it up for <laughs> Oh no. Oh, it's not going to tell her. Oh, never mind. I am such a bully, I know. Nim, I'm sorry. You don't have the keys. I can't give you the keys. They're still alive. I'm sorry. I don't think she has auto insurance. I don't think you use auto insurance for helicopters, Astaris. I give up. Anyway, it looks like these guys are going to do a five-man assault on this position. Okay. Yeah, because one plus two is three. Times two is six. Six divided by six is one, and they said it was nine. <laughs> Okay. No, actually, you guys are right because left or right with um, multiplication division. So it was nine, which means I bluffed them for nothing, and I just proved that I don't know Pem does and um, shrug. <laughs> Actually, no, I am right, because the two is attached to the the 
parentheses, so you do that first. Now I have to look it up again. God damn it. Pem does. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. But wouldn't that, the multiplication, division count as the uh, one plus two? Play real. I got it. You just threw a freaking grenade at him. You didn't tell her she was up for it. <laughs> Fought real hostile. I saw her movements. She was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking die. Uh... <laughs> she failed. <laughs> she didn't even kill one. That's the thing. Like, she <sighs> what? So you fucked up. She had that nade still. Nam, I didn't tell you. You were set to opt for. That's what passed the test, man. Also, you guys were right. It was nine. <laughs> I just... I'm bad at math. <laughs> oh, my God. No, oh, the cruise missile fell short for some stupid reason. Supposed to kill him, but it didn't, so. Anyway, welcome to Amateur Hour. So how's everyone's day? Five people attacking this fob is not what I had in mind, but they could surprise me yet. You still have faith in humanity? Nice. Wait, how did Iopus get free? Um, he didn't. He just isn't leaving the server. So if he comes near any combat, I'm just gonna put a mine at his feet. Yeah, he's just walking here, apparently. <sighs> see i did give them one he round for that moss and i did intend it to be used in here so we'll see what they can do but on the bright side they've got um some of the finish gear in here that they can steal is that the ao mm -hmm. i could get in though it's gonna be fucking impossible yeah, I, I used to have intel in here. I took it away, and I'm just going to say um, when they clear it now, the gorillas will give them the intel that was supposed to be in here, but... Uh, they got to do all this with just a fire team. Which, uh... Well, they got Skelly and I think another guy coming up in uh, a Vic, so... They got... Um, that'll bring them up to six. Six might be able to take this as long as they coordinate well. Uh, the time is not my local time. It's just the time and server. Every time we do an op, it's a different day and I add to the diary setting. My fear here is where is that off-road going? 
because I do have an end law on the rooftop of the building, and all the towers have cords, and Vicks are kind of rare in this campaign, so I'd hate to see them throw it away. See that PCML just even, but it's not active, so that's why. Oh, 506 Osu. You find some really funny stuff in there. Also, I think it's Osud. I just say it like a Canadian. But nah, Brewer's a funny guy. MI24 doesn't need fuel. I mean, it's at 41%, but I'm not going to use that MI24. It's going to be the two other ones. That MI24 just brought captives, so... Uh, Comrade Putin decided he gets the rest of the day off. Oh, we're putting cosmetic. Take fucking Darth Vader over here <laughs> after the barracks. Ah, uh, joy. So they've got this marked down for an Overwatch point. That's because... So I think Skelly went back to change his rifle to a Marksman. And they've also got Skelly with the AT. So that makes more sense. They're going to do Marksman Overwatch. I think Havoc's running up on the side to recon things out. What about this little bird? I'm going to go send her to refuel and just take her out of the AO for this one. Wow, thanks, what's that? I appreciate it. I mean, if they asked me, Allie, I'd actually... I'd actually do it. They have to ask. Oh, we're gonna set up a GMG across the field. Just try to smart. Uh, yeah. If they're actually using their assets, and a GMG would definitely help them with this AO. So. All they have to do. Well, holy! If they just had it like up here, and then when they need to drive, they just like push it back into the back of the off-road truck. I mean one way to do it plus I'm sure the gorillas would have some welding equipment but get there when we get there so now we're just waiting to see this plan off uh, unfold. I'm willing to bet they're going to open up with the GMG, then have the infantry go in and kill stragglers. I'm going to give it a five-minute QRF timer before I bring the Russians in. So I'll just note the uh, original time of combat. My computer just made a weird cracking sound. That's great. Yeah. It's exactly what I need today. There it goes. All right, 
130 on the dot. It opened up. And away we go. Oh shit. Use suppression script. We're under fire. Keep your head down. Uh, they didn't do it as much as I expected. Oh, fair. Okay. Yeah, sporadic GMG. Understood. So I'll send what little I do have into this AO. Copy that. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the cords and start suppressing. So temps made it up to the perimeter. Oh, just one piece, you know. All right. Yeah, they're they're uh, dummy tubes, so I don't got anything else to work with them. You sniped Skelly, by the way. Is that you? Did I hit Skelly? Yeah, you actually knocked him out. Of a wow. I I was just using an iron sight and spraying. <laughs> Did you see Tempestal try to vault in where a guy was and... Wow. Brain. Brain T4. Let's go. Is that freak by chance? No, I don't. So I'm sending those helicopters in two minutes. So I have these things set to, uh, if I were to remote control the lead unit, it garrisons everything else. So I just quickly booped him, and now you're going to see things start dynamically walking around. Probably get most of it cleared before that five minute mark. Tempestal just got oofed. Понял. 
All right, here come the Russians. So yeah, it's clear they gotta get the equipment and run. And if they wanna bring any of the cords, they can, but they have about two to three minutes before those helicopters arrive. I am the lamppost. <laughs> In the dirt mound of the Hesco barrier. I hope it's finally found the end to his walk. Where did he end up? I don't know, but check out the um the northern side of the fob, uh the one cord at the direct north. Uh look at the dude in the front of it just kinda hanging out by his leg through a texture glitch. Sucks to be that guy. Uh, open coffin for him. They've got about a minute left. They need to go. Oh, for taking extra tires. For getting rid of the tire. Um, does it matter if the heli is locked for infantry to load out? That's a good question. Um,. I guess we'll find out. I love how the frickin' APC is just going through Russian territory right now. Like, that's how slow that damn thing is. It doesn't? Alright, Holly, thanks for letting me know. Your shit. We're leaving. I'm gonna 24 will get there first, and the 28 I'm gonna have to do a pass. Still don't see it. I'm gonna teleport locally. One second, don't say anything. Get away, vehicle, get away right now. Go head west. Havoc just got yeeted. Понял. 
Oh, that's gotta suck. I feel bad for Havoc. He was running, the MI-24 just gunned him down. Yanni had the Moz too. I don't know why he was being so slow. That's so valuable. Oh, so a lot of Russians to go capture it. They got the Vic out, which is good. Other guys are moving. They got all the explosives and shit. into the uh, gorilla base with the bomb it. Uh, I'm gonna try not to count it because that means the gorillas have to relocate and I don't think they'll be able to do that against an MI-28. Poor Havoc, though, man. Uh. How often do I play in BIA? Uh, every Thursday. I did take this week off, though, because I played like seven or eight ops in a row. Alright, let's see. Garand, Undead, Temp. And Skelly. I'll get your kits rolled over. Had to have your gorilla so I won't roll your kit because you're a throw in. Uh, how many gorillas died? Two or three? Two, right? Xander and Iopis. Yep. No, just one Iopis. Yeah, one died. Oh, Xander, you're alive? No, Xander's dead, so two. Oh, the two then, yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you completed the, uh, you did the military outpost, so I'm gonna expand the map for, uh, next week I'll get the, uh, four kits reeled over. Uh, do you guys want to start here at the gorilla base, because you guys were pretty scattered? Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Gorilla base, maybe? Alright, I'll assume that Skelly brought the Vic up on the northern side when things calm down. And we'll add the box content of the arsenal to both arsenals. So. Oh, the stick? He's yeah, already copied it. our loadouts, Ned. Oh. Oh. Did Skelly pick up the stick? Yes. Yeah. My, my stuff doesn't transfer. One so. second, let me like. let me find Skelly. Cool. I, I know. I'm finding your AI, you forehead. <laughs> Alright, now get off my server. Hope you had fun. Yeah. We'll go up for uh, debrief, and I'll uh, do my copy paste stuff. Losing man. 
Okie dokie. Before the video gets deleted, please let me clip the uh, thing where I jump on top of the BMP. I'm not sure if it's uh, up, but feel free to. Um, so I know I'm not supposed to have the Kozuses do stuff. The only thing I let Astri do was drive that BMP away. So he, uh, you, you jumped on him. So he just tried to turn around and go. And then Yanni, like a freaking moose across the street, uh, just bolted out in front of his BMP and caused the BMP to like flip over and arm itself. So that was, <laughs> that was weird. Uh, yeah. I, I missed that part. Okay. Yanni saw an opportunity and immediately drove under or dove under the uh, treads to cause physics to occur. <laughs> Props to whoever jumped onto it and actually that was me. shooting the turret. That was me. All right. I would have gotten away Enough. if it wasn't for thermal optics. Enough with that. Can we actually um havoc? That was you, right? I think so. <laughs> no, you got gunned down by the MI twenty four. No thermal. Oh, he just saw you, man. But yeah, debrief, go ahead. I was trying to say was debrief. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, we went around and did stuff. Uh, we broke off, got some a kit that was useful in dealing with some heavy assets. We sort of failed on our second objective by not being able to destroy the, uh, the FARP, but we did hit it pretty hard and caused them to rethink their life decisions by being there. Uh, from there, we went... Uh, we lost two people, apparently captured or something, allegedly. Um, and then we went rearm medical wise. Had a team go down to get the uh, static GP launcher and proceeded to fuck everything up in that military base and then raid it and then run away and die. But yeah, that was it. Yeah, so the, at the last space, I had them on a five-minute timer before the Russians would spew up their helicopters. So right on the dot. And then uh, Ast and I were just yelling, leave, leave, leave. But, you know, it, it came down to the wire. <laughs> we got like, stuff, which is all that matters. Yep. But we did lose the malls. I mean, we didn't really have malls much ammunition. Had but... ammunition. Uh, it had two eight heat shots and a HE. Oof. Yikes. I just recommend so, you get good, Larry, Yanni. One question. Yeah, what up? Uh, so, you definitely went planned that uh, the guerrillas we found at that uh, battle site were FIA. Yes. Okay. Because I didn't want to make custom kits for the guerrillas yet because okay. they yeah. no, had nothing. I was confused. Yeah, I was confused because every 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 single unit we encountered in this uh, campaign has I mean, custom kits. And then I saw like FIA and I was like, are we supposed to take this? Well, well, what does FIA stand for? Does anyone know? know? I didn't play the uh, French independent assholes. No, no. It... <laughs> that too. It stands for I think Freedom Independent Alliance, so so instead, in this campaign, they stand for Finnish Independent Alliance. Haha. Uh -huh. Finger uh -huh. guns. So creative. I know. See, it was funny, though, because I meant to, like, there was supposed to be a giant pile of bodies at the marker, which you guys found. That was all the, uh, whatchamacallit, the dead fins. And then you were supposed to find, like, you know, where they got engaged from. Instead, you guys happened to walk up on the ridgeline that the squad with the fun stuff was at. And you, uh, you then went down to the pile of bodies that was just the dead Finnish dudes. So I'm like, oh. Cack, solved my puzzle without even trying. <laughs> yeah, we we went up there and was like, oh shit, this is some advanced equipment, quote unquote. And it's like, huh, look, that fence. Ah. Huh. Okay, hold on. Huh. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was really confusing to come across that because I didn't expect to see vanilla. That's because uh, you did the puzzle wrong. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did we fucking solve it? You took a 500 piece I mean, you, you found the Maz, so yes, yes, you did. I'm so proud of you. Yet, yeah, but we still lost it. <laughs> oh, apparently, <laughs> FIA stands for Freedom and Independence Army, but now it's the Finnish Independence Army, so whatever. Chat's going to offer stuff? my services to the Russian pilots. They clearly need help. Actually, I opus, you committed suicide with your cyanide pill because that VLS cruise missile didn't actually kill you or Nim. So Nim got offered to become a pilot, but all the Vicks were locked. And then when she walked up to the Russian squad at base to ask for the keys and said she threw a grenade, so they killed her. How unfortunate. 
it. Ah, but she killed officers, which is all that matters. No, she didn't kill anybody with it, which was even worse. Aww. It was a really <laughs> shitty grenade. Aww. I'm gonna head off. Thanks for y'all. Thanks for playing, guys. Hope you had fun. I recorded the four dudes' kits that are still alive, and, uh, yeah. Uh, uh you're also, dead, guys. Also, leave. Well, you died. What? Stop giving me PTSD from fucking MI-28. Then stop dying! And actually learn to run! You were like the last Literally. dude that left and the infantry killed you! I, I, no, Literally, you do not I understand. Realize... You do not understand the sheer panic in Yanni's voice on the radio when those <laughs> heroes showed up. Good. Like that, that, that shit was priceless. I don't know I'm what glad. to him last week or whenever. <laughs> oh, I but... hunted his ass down. It was great. He broke me. That, That's that what was, he did. Yeah, he that, that priceless. Me. Priceless. I broke him just <laughs> I, like the Russians I, broke I, the Finnish in my fictional I, campaign. Easy. I, I started running away to the forest, and then I see the I see the MI24. I'm like, okay, we're good. Then I see the MI28 right behind it. I'm like, ah, I'm I heard that locally, actually, with a star. <laughs> we're just on the corner. But anyway, BRB. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that is it for me today. We'll be back on Monday with some... I think we're doing an op with Advanced Train Simulator that's World War II based. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Go operate operationally. See you when I see you. I gotta go play D&D. &D. That's probably why Jackal's here. Otherwise, cheers. Have a good one. Go operate operationally.